What's up guys, welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review and today we'll be looking at the Marvel Legends Colossus figure from the X-Men Warlock Build-A-Figure wave. Here's a quick look at him in the packaging, you're able to see the figure and the Build-A-Figure pieces that he comes with as well as his extra head. And then on the side you get some nice looking Colossus artwork. On the back you get a look at the figure plus the other figures that are in the wave that you need to get to build Warlock. And as always, I'm a fan of the collector friendly packaging, so it's very cool that you could open the figure up, take it out, and put it back in if you'd like. And now let's take a look at the articulation. So his head is on a ball joint, so it could go side to side. It's got a little bit of tilt to it. It could go forward about that much, then it comes back about that much. And then he's got an ab crunch that goes forward. A pretty nice amount for such a big figure then it comes back about that much then he's got a waist swivel so it could swing side to side on his arm he has ball jointed shoulders they go all the way around then they come out to the side he's got upper bicep swivel he's got single jointed elbows and they're really really tight but yeah single jointed elbows then he has a swivel at the hand and a hinge for his legs they come out to the side about that much they go back they don't really go back too much actually that's just about it there then they come forward that much then you've got upper thigh swivel double jointed knees then he has a swivel at the boot which is cool right right in there because I kind of thought that it wasn't in there then his feet are able to tilt forward that much and they tilt up that much and then they could rock side to side you got the rocker ankles there so yeah that's it nice amount of articulation for a big big Marvel Legends figure has pretty much everything that it needs I was a little surprised that he had single jointed elbows but I guess when I think about it a lot of the bigger figures have single jointed elbows so no big problem there but yeah pretty good amount and as for accessories, Colossus does come with two different heads. And here's the first one, it's just the regular kind of classic look for Colossus. And that looks pretty good, it's sculpted really nice. Got the classic looking hair. And uh, yeah, I like the way that looks. And then he comes with a bearded head. Which I think looks pretty cool. The beard is sculpted nice, the hair is sculpted nice. I don't, I haven't read any of the recent X-Men comics, so I haven't seen when he has a beard like this, but, uh, but I think it looks kind of cool. And it looks good, they did a good job on it, so I, I like that they included that. And then you've got the Warlock Build-A-Figure pieces, and he comes with the head, and the head looks really cool. I'm really excited about putting this guy together. Then he comes with like this, this uh, arm saw kind of thing. And it's like uh, black with some gold details on there. But uh, yeah, it looks very good. I think it's going to be really cool to put this guy together. I really can't wait. And for some size comparisons, here he is next to Marvel Legends Terax and Marvel Legends Sandman. And Colossus is a pretty big figure for just being a single packed figure. You can see here that he's almost as big as a Build-A-Figure. We've seen a lot smaller figures uh, in Build-A-Figure form. So that was interesting that they put him by himself. And then here he is next to Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man and Marvel Legends Wonder Man. And here he is next to Marvel Legends Jim Lee Cyclops and Marvel Legends Old Man Logan. And then here he is next to a couple of Marvel Select Thor figures. And here he is next to Marvel Legends Rogue and Marvel Legends Kitty Pride. And here's a look at him next to the Marvel Legends Toy Biz Colossus figure. I think from Series 5. I'm not completely sure. And, uh, you know, when comparing the two, I'd say that the new Hasbro one looks better. Um, but I don't know if I enjoy messing with them as much as I did with the Colossus, the Toy Biz Colossus figure. Both of them are very cool and stuff. Uh, but the new one has like a cleaner, more like streamlined look. And the Toy Biz one kind of looks clunky and, uh, you know, just unnatural, you know. It kind of looks, it looks a little strange. But 
I've always liked this Colossus figure, so, you know, the, the new Colossus figure doesn't change that at all. And with the Toy Biz one, you've got some, like, unique things going on. Like, all this is, like, these aren't reused pieces that you've got everywhere here. And come to, speaking of that, I, I think this new Colossus body is a, is a whole new body. And this is the first time we've seen it, but I'm sure we'll see it a bunch of times. At first, I thought it was the Terax, the Terax body, but once I had them together, uh, I, I really don't think it is. It might be something they've used already, and I'm, I just don't know, because I don't collect all the Legends figures. But I think this might, might be the first time that they use this body here. But I'm sure we'll see it a bunch of times in the future. So, uh, yeah, you know, when comparing the two, the Toy Biz one is more unique, and it's its own thing. But the new Colossus one is cleaner and uh, it, it looks a lot nicer and it's obviously going to fit in way better with your Hasbro Marvel Legends figures. As for the details on the figure, there isn't too much to talk about because all this is just flat. You know that they make these bodies so they could be reused. And like I said before, we ha I don't think we've seen this body before, but I'm sure we'll see it a lot of times in the future. And uh, it, it looks good. It's a nicely sculpted body. You got some good muscle definition in here. And stuff like that. I think it would have been cool if if they could do stuff like this, like for Colossus, if they would have just made some seams right here or made it so like the X logo you could feel in, it wasn't just painted on. But it's fine, you know, it makes sense because it's superhero spandex costume, you know, so it is what it is. But I think just for like from a figure standpoint, it would have looked a lot nicer if it had like some seams. But uh, yeah, you know, it's okay. And then like the arms are sculpted the the lines like the metallic lines for the arms are sculpted so that's cool because that could have just been painted and you never know um, they I wouldn't put it really past them to do painting just painting on for the lines but I'm really glad that they didn't so that's really good then here for the gauntlets you got some sculpted details right in here the hands are sculpted really nice you've got like an open dramatic kind of hand and then you've got a fist on this side and uh, all that looks really good all the details and stuff that they did sculpt are really nice but I just wish they I, I hate to just have like a plain body I know I mean I hate to complain about it or whatever it fits fine for the character and and the figure but it just would have been cool to have some other details going on here and down at the boots you got some sculpted details right in there and as for the paint for the most part the paint is pretty clean I got some ugly stuff going on back here but it it isn't really horrible overall everything else is painted really nice and and sharp Except, uh, let's see, here on the legs, it doesn't get as sharp as it is in other spots. But yeah, for the most part, it's sharp and looks really nice. The X logo looks really good. And uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. And I really like the color of the arms and the skin, or his metal skin. It, it all looks really nice. It's not really like a shiny, perfect silver. It's like a nice uh, gray kind of metallic, like a gray, like a dark, like a charcoal gray metallic kind of color. And uh, yeah, I, I, I like the way it looks a lot. Let's see on the back you got the stupid serial number right there that always sucks uh, but yeah overall it has all the details it needs for me it would have been cool if it had some other little added details it would have made the figure that much better but yeah it looks it looks good I think I think they did what they needed to do with this guy so overall I really like this Colossus figure I think they did a good job and it's a really nice update from the old Toy Biz one I've always loved the Toy Biz one, but I can admit that it does look a little clunky and sloppy. And this one is a nice, clean, new version of Colossus, so it's, pre it's pretty good. Um, I do wish there was some kind of details on the body, just something to make it a little bit more interesting rather than just flat. But it's hard to really blame, him, blame them for that because it does, I mean, it, it, looks like, it looks the way it needs to, so you can't really hate on it. And I think they did a good job on sculpting the arms. I really like the fact that it came with an extra head because they could have left that out. And that's just something small they threw in there. For a character that really can't, that you don't really put any weapons with or anything like that, it's cool that they added an extra head. Even though, you know, I had no desire for a bearded Colossus, I think it does look cool. I mean, I might display him like that, but yeah. And I, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think I heard somebody say that with this bearded head and this costume that's not really comic book accurate so I'm not really sure but just in general I think it looks pretty cool just with the beard I think it looks a little bit it looks unique you know so uh yeah I like this figure I definitely like this figure and it's just another strong figure in this uh, warlock build a figure wave so pretty happy with it so that's it thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the review if you did please be sure to like comment subscribe and all that cool stuff and thank you very much peace